thing that's lived here. That's that's how I got here. All right. Yeah. I got a question actually. Ron, the first time I met you was at a show at Mars Cafe. It was a show called Redesign. Oh yeah. It was um, kind of about apparel that someone else has owned and kind of redo their take into your. Can you tell me a little bit about that experience and how that kind of moved what you do a little forward? Uh, well, that show was actually my first shot at um, fashion design, and they were they were taking um, they were taking clothes that they found at thrift stores and having people redesign them. So I basically just they gave me a trash bag full of clothes um, from a thrift store or whatever, and I just spray painted them, and that was my first fashion show. And then later on, actually, uh, Anthony Marinero is wearing one of my jackets. <laughs> He asked, he, asked, he asked me to do this for, for uh, uh, he was emceeing an event and he was like, hey, could you spray paint some jackets for me? So I did. And then, um, he, and then Anthony was actually like, hey, there's this fashion show coming up. Uh, you should do a whole line of, of men's jackets. And then I actually did one, one woman's jacket too. But, uh, so that was my second fashion show. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's that's it. Everything from 
a crew who really didn't know what they were doing to the, uh, you guys all remember 2008 with the, uh, the flooding. We had locations go, we had uh, tornadoes take out uh, a church they were supposed to shoot at. And, um, but the footage is still there and, uh, you know, I, I pieced it together as much as I could. And, uh, at some point, I am going to go back and finish it, but, um, you know, at the same time, you have to move on and go on to other things. But uh, um, the documentaries, when I started shooting Rest Documentary, um, and here I go, Shady Kathy. Wait, you're sorry, you asked, you asked that question. Uh, I was actually shooting Vessel, and um, I, uh, the way the budget was set up, I, we did this Andy Warhol type uh, factory art gallery, and I wanted um, uh, some body painting. And I, Brent had just done body painting. Um, if you, any of you guys have seen his Facebook page and seen the, the naked girl that he uh, spray painted, um, I was like, I, I want that. And, um, so I emailed him, we met for beers at Star Bar, and um, we started talking, I was like, look, just to be honest with you, our budget is not really set up for this, but let's, uh, let's do something together, let's do like an art film, something experimental. And uh, so he did his part and spray painted one guy, one gal, for this art scene, and um, we decided, okay, let's, we, now it's my turn, and we met up, and um, we started talking, and I was just like, you know what, we're not going to do an art film. There, I, I, we're both from uh, towns right off the Mississippi River. Um, I'm from uh, Rock Island, Moline, and um, he was from Fulton, and uh, we were both on the Iowa border. They both came from uh, very similar backgrounds, and I was like, you know what, let's just do a whole film about you. And uh, as we were doing it, the original idea was to do, when I, when I was working on his film, was to do a, a, a series of artist documentaries. But from there, I was like, you know what, let's expand this. Let's do all of Iowa. Let's find the highest points. Some of the things in Iowa that we don't really think about, that we just take for granted, and let's do a whole series about it. But I, I'm still very much into the, uh, the fictional stuff, just to get back to your question. Um, and I will continue. I still love making shorts. I actually just talked to Aaron down at Finders Creepers. I'm doing an installation in February, which uh, I'm going to do take three rooms, and I'm doing a, a, a short film for each room. Um, so I am still doing that stuff, and uh, you know, anyone who wants to get involved in the short, the short film stuff, that's where I get really weird. Uh, and you can take a look at some of them out on that screen out there. So I'm still, I'm still there. I'm still into it. Are there going to be any zombies in your future documentary? <laughs> Absolutely not. There's two things I'll never shoot a film about. One is zombies, and the other one's vampires. I'll never see it. <laughs> Booyah! What, what, what if the artist was dead? Well, we had mentioned earlier we we're going to do the Temple of Doom. Sorry, I'm in here a little bit late. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, would, that was like two questions. No, we are doing the Temple and Riot. Temple and Riot is going to be the next in this series. Um, the Capone's Whiskey. Made in Iowa documentary series. This is what? That's what this is. The Made in Iowa documentary series. If you take something that's in Iowa. That Capone thing. The Capone thing? Yeah. That's, that's about Temple and Riot. Capone's oh, favorite whiskey. Oh, about Temple and Riot. Yeah. Whiskey. Okay. Yeah, Capone's whiskey is, uh, Capone, when he was in prison, he used to have, uh, do night runs, and his men would come to Templeton, Iowa, and take back uh, whiskey to uh, sneak it into prison for him, called the good stuff, so. Well, what, what about a, a series, actually, on, on artists, I guess? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to do more artists, but uh, I just felt that when I, was, when I was doing his, I liked the idea of doing more artists, but I felt if I limited myself to just artists, I was going to miss something, and when I came up with, when I heard about Templeton Rye and then a few other uh, subjects, I was like, you know what, let's go, let's, let's, let's branch off and do more. What are you going to be doing with the Frankie film? The Frankie film? Uh, Vessel? Uh, January, February, I'm still editing it right now. Yeah. Who else? Get your guitar. Let's <laughs> dance. It's a dance party. That's not a question. Let's dance. It's not a question. <laughs> Any last questions? Over here. Any bigger pieces you're going to have other than the mural from last year's show, the 186? Any other big, big, other than cars or anything else you want to do? Any substrates? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I really want to do a lot of, a lot of very large scale stuff. Let's do a house. 
I would love to do a house. Holy shit, that's a great idea. Yeah, the, actually the, the, the rundown house next to my old house yeah. in Sherman Hill. Yeah. I wanted to ask them if they would just let me tag that, because that would be so sweet. Um, I would love to do a house. I'm planning on, on doing um, just some more large scale stuff on like bed sheets and stuff, sewing together these huge uh, canvases. And, um, yeah, I just need to find the space to do it. Are you planning to enter this into any uh, film festivals? I have anti-film festival. That's where we're doing the tour. Um, we both we we both come from punk, punk rock backgrounds, and we're like, you know what? I don't want to do with I don't want to deal with tours or do with uh, festivals. You you pay so much money for a festival. You pay to play, right? Right, and you may not even get to play. You pay the money, and whether they accept you or not, you've paid, and that's it. Doing a tour, where we're basically going with the film, you know, all over the United States. It's like, you know what? That's a much better idea, and um, it it just it's it's going along with our attitude towards the industry, you know, both our industries. Word up. I forgot my question, people. I'll have to come back. <laughs> Any final questions? <laughs> you guys ready to dance? I'm ready to dance. Yeah. Let's dance. Before we dance, yeah. I want to welcome to the stage associate producer, Ryan Kohler. Give it up. Oh, shit. take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for coming out tonight. I know some of you have driven a long ways, and some of you, like Pam and Amy, give them up um, for setting up all these chairs. Yeah! Um, Amy did a bang-up job the other day, hooking these two up with KGGO, um, Webcast Live, and they also did a series here with the JJ Fo Show for a lot of advertising for tonight's gig. So. Um, a big thank you to all of them and all of you um, for putting this together and helping us make this as big as it is. And hopefully we will have a lot more of these to be able to not showcase artists and film, but just to get out what is available in the state of Iowa. And I think this is an absolutely great opportunity for all of us to get involved. So thank you again. And um, I know I learned a lot from this documentary that I didn't know about you. Um, and hopefully we'll learn a lot more in the near future. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for being here. And thank you, Anthony Marinara, for helping us MC tonight and for doing the lovely spread of food out there in the, on the, in the lobby. Out of the box catering, all right? There you go. Out of the box. It's a mess. All right, let's dance. <laughs>